In this video, we'll look at this $180 headphone, aka the AirPods 3, and this $24 headphone, aka the Orimo Free Pods 3. And we're going to be talking about their similarities and differences, which one to go for and who they really are for. When you look at the conversion in Naira, that's around 102,000 Naira for the AirPods Pro and 15,300 Naira for the Orimo Free Pods. This is one David and Goliath situation with the price, but can David defeat Goliath this time. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. I'd love it if you could hit that like button so more people can benefit from the knowledge that we'll be sharing in this video. All right, without further ado, let's get to the video. When it comes to the unboxing experience of the Orimo Freepods 3 headphones, you get this large box of course with Tubaba signature, the Nigerian legendary musician. Once the seal is taken off, you can access the inner lid. Opening that up reveals the Orimo Freepods itself with a vertical wrap. After you take that away, you get this sort of rounded device with the Orimo branding and Tubaba signature and the tagline alongside three LED dots for the power indicator. The back only has the certification and other technical details. Taking the second layer of the cover after the Freepods 3, you get to see the compartment housing, the four ear tips and the Type-C USB charging cable. Underneath that is the user manual or the user guide that you can open up in a really large spread for both English and other languages. When you get your Orimo Freepods 3, you want to immediately open it up and remove each earbud in order to take the tape off of it. If you don't, they won't pair with your device, so that's what you should do when you get the device. The sticker or the film basically says that you should remove it and put the buds back into the case for your first time using it. Now to the AirPods 3. The unboxing experience is a little different. You get to peel two Apple seals from the back of the box and opening up the similar hardwood slash paper box, you get the typical envelope housing the manual or the user guide and stickers. And then you get the AirPods 3 itself, which we'll get to in a bit. As for what you get in the box, the Orimo Free Pods takes the win for this, for just how much it offers in the box compared to the money that you're paying for the Apple AirPods 3. The FreePods offers quite a lot of stuff in the box when you compare it to the AirPods 3. However, straight out of the box, I have to say that there is quite an obvious gap between these two devices in their build quality. Holding the two devices with their charging cases side by side, the AirPods 3 just feels like a more premium device. Now flipping each case open and close lets you get a feel of the quality of both devices. And it's clear that the AirPods 3 3 is a winner here with the build quality. Now this is not to say that the Freepods 3 is of poor build quality, no nothing of the sort. However, in comparison to an almost $200 device, it falls short. It really would be criminal to expect the same build quality for two devices that are so far apart in price. <laughs> I decided to test the connectivity of these boards and see how they fared across different operating systems. And I mainly tested them across iOS and Android. Uh, I couldn't find a Windows phone and the Blackberry I had, I'm not really sure how many people are using. Are you still using Blackberry? Starting with the AirPods 3, I connected it to a fellow ecosystem member, the iPhone, and as you would already expect, this connection was as seamless as it gets. Once you open it up, you immediately see an AirPod set and the case, both showing the battery levels or the battery percentages. This even works instantaneously where it goes away once you close the case and it comes back when you open the case. Connecting the Orimo FreePods 3 to the iPhone, on the other hand, took a few more steps. Once you take the sticker off the FreePods 3, which you're supposed to, I mentioned it earlier, you have to make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on on your iPhone. You then head on to the Bluetooth page and once you open the FreePods 3 case, you can easily reconnect by tapping on the name of the device. That's pretty much it. If you had it in your ears, once it's connected, you will hear Tubaba's voice saying, connected. On a first time connection basis and everything that concerns connectivity, the AirPods 3 is a clear winner for obvious reasons, the Apple ecosystem. It is arguably the most intuitive and connected ecosystem in the world, arguably, and the AirPods 3 was born into this privilege, giving it sort of an unfair advantage. All right, how about Android device connectivity? For the AirPods to Android, you have to pair it like any other device. The back of the AirPods 3 case or any AirPods case has this button that you have to press and hold it till it starts to blink a white light. This places the device in pairing mode 
code and you'll be able to select the device on your smartphone to connect it. This same process is how the Freepod 3 pairs with Android. You would have to open the case first and here you don't have to press any button because no buttons exist on the Freepod 3. The Freepod 3 just enters pairing mode when you flip open the case and then you select it on your phone to pair. Now while the Orimo Freepod 3 doesn't have a pairing button, you can clearly notice this when there is a button blinking on each ear tip. I think it blinks red and blue or something of the sort. So that's when you know it's pairing or it's looking for a device to connect to. How about reconnecting? Well, for iPhones and AirPods, you will only need to open your AirPods and connect once. For the FreePods 3, you will open it up and tap to connect. With Android though, if you have a device with Android 11, you only need to open up either the AirPods or the FreePods. And if it's the last device you paired, it will automatically pair once it's open. Otherwise, you might just have to tap to connect back to it on your device. For those who are big on facts and figures, here's one for you. The FreePods 3 has Bluetooth version 5.2, while the AirPods 3 has Bluetooth 5.0. Now, despite this difference in versions, I couldn't really tell if there was a huge practical difference. Both of them connected as swiftly as I wanted uh, on different devices. The only time I could tell was maybe in the range. Now, picking a winner in this category is a really tough choice. While the higher Bluetooth version on the uh, FreePods 3 gives it a slight edge, it's a slight edge. The Apple AirPods 3 is pulling the competition with its biggest advantage. It has an ecosystem. The FreePods 3 may connect swiftly. It may offer better signals and offer better distance, but it does not have the uh, liberty to enjoy belonging into an ecosystem where you can seamlessly switch between devices from iPhones to laptops and to iPads and all of that stuff. And still within the connection conversation, I also tested out the connection range of these devices. As far as the Apple AirPods, as long as you're in the same room, you should be able to move around without it disconnecting. Now, during my test, I had my phone set in a position and went as far as 25 feet and the audio never broke. Think of 25 feet as four adult meals that are six feet tall stacked upon each other and that's how far it took and the audio was still good. Where the Apple AirPods 3 started to struggle was when I moved to another room or downstairs. This is where the walls were between my smartphone and I. The results were just about the same with the Orimo FreePods 3. However, I think its Bluetooth 5.2 feature was really useful for me. Range. I noticed that I could go a little farther without my music breaking at all. Even after going down the stairs and leaving my smartphone in the higher floor, the Freepod 3 held up quite nicely until I started going really far. I'm going to say that both of these earbuds have a comfortable fit. I've had them on for quite a while and I did not get uncomfortable with any one of them uh, throughout the entire time. It's also worth noting that the ear tips on the FreePods 3 come with a nice array of advantages. First and foremost, the FreePods 3 feels firmer in the ears because of these ear tips. I really enjoyed having a noise filter when I was in public. However, it becomes a bit of a problem if you have to take the earbuds out of your ears every time someone is speaking to you. I do which it was possible to turn it off or reduce the effect as in cases where a person was you know speaking to me even without music playing i had to take the device out of my ear to hear them clearly finally these ear tips are designed for different ear hole sizes despite the comfort that the apple airpods offers it did come off a couple of times because uh, my ear holes were seemingly big for it but uh, this never happened with the freepods 3 and they do offer different ear tips for uh, different ear hole sizes, I guess. Now keep in mind that these are my own experiences. This uh, is because it's just me, but they may vary for every other person. I gave it to a friend of mine and it stayed perfectly well in their ears. That's the AirPods 3. And it did stay perfectly well in my ears. I think maybe when I'm in the gym or something because there's no ear tip to like let it stay plugged in, it can easily just fall off if you have big air holes. While constantly removing and replacing your earbuds comes with its fair share of risks, the AirPods 3 has no form of noise cancellation. And that gives the FreePods 3 the win in this category. When it comes to controls on the wireless earbuds, uh, preferences differ very much, so it may be hard to award a winner right here. The AirPods 3 works with sensors at the stem that you need to press to control different actions. As for the FreePods 3, on the other hand, it works with touch sensitivity to perform actions like pausing, playing, and moving from one song to the next. Now, because the controls on the FreePods 3 are touch sensitive, the chances of misfiring them or pressing them accidentally are pretty high. There is a possibility 
possibility of touching the control area by mistake when adjusting or placing the earbuds in your ears. For this reason, I have to lean towards the AirPods 3 since the stem has that force touch feel so you can actually confirm that you have pressed something or you are pressing it intentionally anyway. On paper, the Apple AirPods 3 is pegged to have 6 hours of listening time and an extra 30 hours with the charging case. As far as Orimo's FreePods 3, you get 8 hours of listening time and an extra 28 hours with the charging case. In reality or in real life, I think I'm quite impressed with the battery performances on both of these devices. I use both AirPods like a regular everyday user and they lasted more than one day without having to plug them in. I did notice though that the case on the Orimo FreePods died a lot quicker than that of the AirPods. I also do wish there was a way to monitor the battery of the charging case of the FreePods 3 just like the AirPods 3. Most of the times that it died, I noticed that uh, the device was no longer charging before I figured to charge it. I think there needs to be a better indication for the battery level on the case rather than just having three dots that shows low, medium and high battery. That aside, both devices offered satisfactory performance and uh, the AirPods themselves never did die on me. As far as charging, the AirPods makes use of the regular USB lightning cable for iPhones while the FreePods 3 uses the Type-C charging cable. And while it may not be a ride or die feature, the Apple AirPods 3 is compatible with wireless charging which you can consider as uh, an icing on the cake for the kind of money that you're going to be spending on the airpods 3. all right let's now talk about what is pretty much the most important category the audio quality of these two airpods I have to say that after using both devices, it was a pretty tough competition, but the two of them do have their strengths and weaknesses. The audio quality that comes out of the Apple AirPods 3 just sounds clearer and richer. A downside to know with the Apple AirPods 3 is that when the music gets loud, it tends to spill out and people can hear what you are playing. That aside though, this is very high quality audio and I enjoyed listening to every second of music played on it. As for the FreePods 3 on the other hand, since it has been tuned to carry the heavy bass in Afrobeats music, the bass is much louder on free pods. In the end, with audio quality, it is dependent on what your preferences are. For clearer audio quality, the Apple AirPods 3 takes a major part of the metals. But if you are a lover of bass, then you would kind of prefer the sound from the FreePods 3. As for the microphones on the other hand, on these two devices, they are pretty good. However, here is another area where there's a noticeable difference in the quality of these devices. For making calls and having virtual meetings, I prefer the audio quality that the microphone from the AirPods 3 produced. Now, let's have a look at them, shall we? The sound you're currently hearing is from the Apple AirPods 3. The sound you're currently hearing is from Orimo's FreePods 3. By the way, the FreePods 3 also has ENC or environmental noise cancellation, which is designed to block out noise when you're making phone calls. Do let me know what your thoughts are about this sound quality and the audio quality in the comment section below. All right, so when it comes to the extra features, you know, those features that you don't know you would like until you have them, we all know that Apple does this best. From features like special audio for an immersive listening experience to other features like um, wireless charging that offers a variety in charging options. There's also the skin detect sensors that allows the AirPod detect if or when it's no longer on the user's ears. The AirPods did not grab all of the beans though. When it comes to water resistant, uh, both devices are of course water resistant however the freepods 3 is ipx5 water resistant uh, while the airpods 3 is ipx4 simply put the freepods 3 will handle submersion in water for longer and better than the airpods 3. now while we can all agree that apple products can be very overpriced there is a clear gap between these two devices that reflect their price difference however from my personal observations i think that when you consider these features that really matter in terms of having a, a wireless earbud the orimo freepods 3 is a fantastic choice for a small budget the orimo freepods 3 offers enough quality in its key features that makes it a valuable option for users now as for the airpods 3 it also offers a solid lineup of bells and whistles that makes the user experience a bit nicer. At this point, it really depends on your preferences and what you can actually afford. 
Would you rather go for value or for all of these other extra features? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do smash that like button if you found this video useful and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the very next video.